Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on Rich Aesthetic. I'm Rich and today we're gonna do a little Mac OS tutorial on how to set dark mode and light mode on a schedule. Cause I bet you didn't know that you can't do that right now. Although you can do it on iOS and iPad OS. So let's jump straight into this. All right, so as we find our way over here on the desktop, you're gonna wanna open Automator. Now, if you don't know where that is, you can just command space, open up Spotlight and search for Automator. You can see I had it up there. And there in the menu bar, you'll see it pop up and you may have a window pop up in front of you though. If not though, in the menu bar, just hit File, New. You are gonna make an application type. So select application, hit Choose, cool. So you're gonna wanna search for a change system appearance. I'm just gonna search for system appearance. Go ahead and drag that into the editor. And here you're gonna wanna make a choice. Um, is your Mac always on? So it can always run this in the background? If so, you can maybe just choose to toggle it. Now, in my case, I'm putting this on my MacBook, right? So, you know, when you close your MacBook, it's not gonna be running these shortcuts. So like if I'm traveling or if I just have it closed for the night for whatever reason, when I wake up, it's not going to have switched to light mode, right? So I prefer to have it just choose dark or light mode. So I'm going to make two applications, one for setting dark mode, one for setting light mode. The reason for that is um, the, the other thing that happens is I sometimes have to set dark mode earlier just because it gets darker earlier or I traveled somewhere where it got dark earlier. And if you have toggle on, it'll turn light mode back on. So instead, if you just have dark mode set to turn on at the certain time, it's not going to change your appearance. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So once that's set, command S to save. I'm gonna call it set dark mode. And I'm just gonna put on my desktop to keep things easy, but put it wherever you want. Just make sure to remember where you have the file. And then you just hit save. And now I'm gonna quickly make the light mode version of the app. All right, so go ahead and open up calendar. And I made a custom calendar called light dark so I can just hide these actions on my other devices, including this one, because I, I use iCloud calendar, so I don't need to see these. And we're gonna go ahead and make an event in the calendar of your choice. I'm gonna name the event uh, set dark mode and also the other one will be called set light mode. I'm gonna have it repeat every day up to you when you have it repeating. And then the important part is the alert. So for alert, you're gonna hit that drop down and we're going to choose custom. Now here, change message with sound to open file, drop down on calendar, change it to other, and we're going to go and find our application. Now for me, they're on my desktop. So go ahead, find where you saved your dark mode app, select it and continue. Now, don't have it one hour before, You've already set the time you want it to go, right? So at time of event, and then just hit okay. And it'll do that every single day now. All right, now repeat the same thing for the time you want it at light mode. I'm gonna fast forward on this part as well. Now here's the thing. The first time it tries to run this, it is gonna ask you if this app can control system events. All you have to do is hit okay, and as you can see, it worked. And now I, you won't ever have to hit okay on that prompt again, at least for the dark mode one. Um, if you're just using the toggle action with one app, then you're fine now. Now, if you have the light mode like I have set up, you're gonna have to do this once again. So just move one of those light mode events um, to have it trigger in the next minute or two. And when that dialogue pops up, of course, just hit okay and then you'll be good and you can put your light mode event back where it belongs. All right, and that wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And if you want more videos like this, hit that like button and subscribe down below. Um, also, of course, share this with your friends and family. They may want to be able to set this on a schedule and may just not know how, because this is kind of a workaround. Um, but yeah, if you want more videos like this, leave that comment down below. 
and I will catch you guys in the next one. Rich Aesthetic, out! Shah.